this video will review how to translate a strand of mRNA using your codon chart. The first step of translating an mRNA strand is to put a line after every third base. This defines our reading frame and keeps us from mixing up our codons. In my first codon, the first base is A, so I look at the A row in my codon chart. My second base is U, so I'll look in the U column. We'll find our answer in the box where this row and column meet. You can see that I've placed a red outline around the box where we'll find our answer. Now we'll use the third base to determine which amino acid in this box is the correct answer. In this case, methionine is the amino acid we're looking for. Now we'll move on to the second codon. Since the first base is G, I'll be looking in the G row on my codon chart. The second base is also G, so you can see I've highlighted the G column in the codon chart. Once again, we'll find our answer in the box where this row and column overlap, and you can see a red outline around the box where our answer is found. Since the third base in this codon is U, I'll be looking at the top amino acid in this box, which is glycine. You may have noticed that all of the codons that start GG code for the amino acid glycine, but it's still very important that you understand how to use the third base. Our third codon starts with U, so I've highlighted the U row in the codon chart. The second base in this codon is G, so I've highlighted the G column. The box outlined in red is where I'll find my answer, because that's where the U row and the G column overlap. My third base is A, so that tells me that this is a stop codon. Notice that there were three different options in this box. That's why it's very important that you understand how to use that third base to determine what the correct answer is. You can see that I put a stop sign underneath UGA. That's because stop codons mean stop. Stop codons don't actually code for an amino acid. They communicate to the ribosomes that the protein is finished. Because UGA is a stop codon, you should stop translating this sequence. You would not translate the UUU because it follows the stop codon. Some people like to write stop in their answer so that they remember that this was a stop codon. But remember, stop is not an amino acid. So if the question asks what the amino acid sequence is, the answer is just methionine and glycine.